by order of the Secretary of the Army, signed George Casey, Jr., General United States Army, Chief of Staff. This promotion has taken me back in time like no other event in my entire life. And I didn't appreciate the enormity of the event until the tidal waves of cards, letters, and emails started coming my way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and joining us now is Ann Dunwoody, who with that, uh, that uh, moment there where the pin was placed upon her, became the uh, first female four-star Army general. And um, she is with us today because she is the author of a great new book, A Higher Standard, Leadership Strategies from America's First Female Four-Star General. Uh, and uh, General, it is a pleasure and an honor to speak with you. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be with you, Steve. Right, now, you know, how hard is it, do you think, to, to translate? I mean, you, I guess at the peak, you were running, uh, a, 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 you know, 69,000 employees and billions of dollars in a budget, and, and you became an expert in logistics. I think they call you a, a, a logistician. Uh, how hard is it to take the military... Um, uh, qualities that uh, and leadership qualities that you had in the military and translate them to to the business world you know you'd be surprised especially in the logistics business and the distribution business how much similarities we have between big businesses that are in similar like coca-cola and I know Mutar Kent uh, and how you try to look at the same kind of actual leadership qualities and business best business practices that translate to both organizations so I learned from Mutar Kent and CEOs that run big businesses how to make my organization more efficient, more effective. And I tried to share how we develop leaders in the military because that's really what we do. And, and well, one of the things that strikes me and I think is very important uh, is uh, never walk by a mistake. And, and, and that's uh, you're telling people there, I guess, to, to recognize when something is wrong. And, and most importantly, because this is important in the military, and I think it's important in business, although I don't think it's done enough, um, uh, hold people accountable. Yes, exactly right. In my book, I talked about my very first platoon sergeant, Sergeant First Class Wendell Bowling, and Second Lieutenant Ann Dunwoody. And he brought me in, and we were just starting the integration of women into the military. And he brought me in, and he'd come from Vietnam, and there's nothing broken about Sergeant Bowen. He was, he was going to try to make me the best platoon leader in the Army, not the best female platoon leader. And he taught me some principles that stayed with me my entire career. The first and probably most enduring is one you just talked about, never walk by a mistake. And he said, if you walk by a mistake, you just set a new lower standard. And, and when you think about it, for any organization, when you see something wrong, if you don't make on-the-spot correction, and sometimes people aren't doing it intentionally. They don't know the standard. So you're educating them. Sometimes they do, and they're just ignoring, and so you're correcting. But it's a slippery slope for folks that don't make on-spot corrections, and then all of a sudden that becomes a new normal. And then something else becomes lax. And in the military, mistakes lead to injuries and sometimes fatalities. Absolutely. Uh, very briefly, uh, we got about 35 seconds. Is it harder? for a woman in, in the military and in the business world to be in charge? No, I think it's all about leadership. It's more about leadership than gender is my take. Good. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that. And the book, folks, is full of um, you know, uh, the leadership strategies that uh, Ann Dunwoody uh, uh, you know, put forth and, and practiced in the military and could help you, whether you're in business or just in everyday life. Uh, you never want to walk by a mistake, for instance, and you never want to lower the standard and set a new low standard, and no matter what aspect of your life it is, whether it's a dirty kitchen or, or whether it's a, a multi-million dollar deal. Uh, General, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. Have uh, a great day. You too. A higher standard, folks. We're coming back. Don't go away.